Welcome back. It's time to hit the road again with Mikey and our PTL car, Katie. So where did your road trip take you this time? I'm always going somewhere. So yes. I headed <laughs> north to Lake Erie. I've already shown you the winery, the breweries, the distilleries that you can enjoy there while taking in the autumn leaves. But this time I set sail for Erie Maritime Museum. And as you're about to see, it's more than just a museum. The Erie Maritime Museum and U.S. Brig Niagara takes you through time, the people, and events surrounding Lake Erie. The museum offers a wide range of interactive exhibits. This is our gun deck, uh, and our gun deck's a really cool thing because uh, not only can we show people how a gun works, we can actually take the tools out, we can run the gun in and out, and, and really give a, a decent demonstration of what the whole thing is about. They replicated part of a ship, took it into the field, and shot it up shot the uh, side of the ship up as much as we possibly could. It's on exhibit now, so you can see the amount of damage a gun really does. I learned the splinters from the blast are what really injure the crew. You can actually come and grab one of the tools. It's all kinds of weird names. Now uh, we have a worm, we have you know sponges, we have rammers, we have all kinds of things that people can actually feel, touch, and, and try out for themselves. Next, it was time to learn how to set a sail. Blue lens, cast off. So you can feel how heavy I am. that Are we yard supposed is. to be saying anything right now? He type of moment. He, <laughs> he. We head outside to the U.S. Brick Niagara. Not only is it the most popular exhibit at the museum, it's the official flagship of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. You can tour the Niagara throughout the year, even take a summertime day sail in Prescow Bay. So this ship is our ship. If you live in Pennsylvania, if you are a resident of Pennsylvania, this is your ship. And you should come up and take a look at it and take pride in what is yours. Another interactive exhibit at the museum is furling a sail. We make the climb up a hundred feet to give it a try. So we are on the Royal Yard, which is about a hundred feet up in the air. We're pretty high up. And the picture boards we like to be standing on this tiny little rope, which the two of us are actually standing on. And what do we like to furl sail? Furling sail is gathering the sail and tying it up. Pick it up. Put it here, do it again. Just keep gathering it all up. It's a lot harder than what it looked like. In addition to the Maritime Museum, through Visit Erie, the Erie Bayfront has a lot to offer. We have restaurants, we have bars, we have lots of boats you can go sailing on. Uh, we have tour boats, jet skis. Erie's Bayfront really is a fun place to be, not just during Tall Ships Erie, but really year round. I can see it all from here. Ahoy! No, just kidding. We're really not high up. <laughs> this is just one of many exhibits to see and experience at Erie Maritime Museum, where you can discover and interact with history. That's exactly what I was going to ask, because I thought when you said you were 100 feet up, standing on that rope mm -hmm. thing, and I was like, monkey, I've, what did you do? I fooled you. <laughs> you did fool me. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you to Visit Erie for bringing us these road trip segments. So much to see in Erie, and it's just an easy drive from Pittsburgh. For more information on the Maritime Museum I showed you today, go to pittsburghtodaylive.com. We've posted the details for you there. All right, well, still to come, celebrating National Pierogi Day. That's today, and we're going to do it in a big way. Mm. <laughs> First, love to read, but hate to pay full price for ebooks. Learn how to find great deals on ebooks in our PTL Tech Center report next.